Hi, I'm Eric Rhodes, publisher of Radio Inc. I've been talking to a lot of broadcasters and something has changed. The world around you has changed. Your clients are asking questions that you may not be prepared to answer. I sat down with Roy Williams. Roy, as you know, has been writing for Radio Inc. for about 15 years. Uh, he's our number one writer. He's the one that everybody reads, even more than me. So what I wanted to do is uh, ask Roy what is changing and what radio needs to do to respond to these changes. What is changing? The client's willingness to believe research has changed dramatically. Radio is out of step with being able to answer what the client actually wants to know and to be able to answer it in a credible way. Now, let me say first that just because a thing is true, that doesn't necessarily make it credible. I mean, you can tell somebody the truth, but if they don't recognize it as the truth, if it doesn't agree with their experience and their observations, it's not credible. Right. And there is a disconnect, and it's a growing disconnect. The disconnect that media buyers and business owners are having with radio it is something that radio people need to hear, and I think they'll benefit from it, Eric. They're also getting a lot of questions about social media. There's a lot of buzz. There are a lot of people who are having great success with that. And radio is lacking the understanding of how to integrate that properly uh, and not ignore it. I heard from a client here in Austin, uh, a local retailer, who has completely reinvented the way he does business. And he's utilizing radio and television and social networking. But he's also talked about how radio and television cannot be used in the same way they used to be used. Here's the good news. Radio actually has the edge if they know how to do their job. They actually have the answer people are looking for. They just don't understand the answer they have. Right. And so this integration, if you understand, it is about the message. It's about how to craft the message so that you say the most in the fewest words. Now, who does that if it's not radio people? Right. If you get really good at figuring out what needs to be said and how to deliver that with the greatest impact in the fewest words, if you can do that job, you control the account. If you cannot do that job, then you just have to quote irrelevant data that nobody's listening to anymore. So we're putting together a webinar. It's about an hour long. It's no charge. Anybody can attend. Who should attend? Anybody who gets their paycheck from radio. In this webinar, people are going to learn what is the new research the client will embrace, will believe. How do you conduct that research? How do you present that research? What is a valid experiment? What is the power of an experiment? What is the power of a test? Why is it attractive? We're going to learn not just new jargon for old concepts. No, 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 no. We're going to talk about new concepts where instead of trying to drag the business owner into your world and understand what it is you do, it's how you go into their world and demonstrate that you understand what they do. How to get them on board with what you're talking about is to prove to them that you get who and what they are. The kinds of things that myself and my partners have been testing worldwide now for several years, we've been doing this. We absolutely know it works. And we have nothing to lose by sharing it with the people of radio. What's the impact going to be on me if I'm selling radio or if I'm running a radio station? How's it going to impact my life? It's going to dramatically change your close rate. You're going to have a higher percentage of clients call their friends and say, I'm sending somebody over to talk to you. You really need to listen to what they have to say. And that doesn't happen to most radio reps. It happens to myself and my partners every day of the world. And the only difference is the technique that I'm talking about where you quit selling quite so hard and you quit trying to say things and get people to believe you. No, quit it. Walk into their world. Be part of what they're doing. This is not the old consultant sale. This is a whole new way of thinking about engaging the client, relating to the client, moving forward as partners. So if you're running a radio station, if you're working for a radio station, if you're selling, and quite frankly, even if you're a client, because we know we have lots of clients who read Radio Inc., join us for the webinar. The idea is to talk about what's changing and what radio needs to do to respond to these changes. You don't want to miss it. Click the link now to see more.